Oh, Alright. Hey everybody, I'm the Black Queen Ninja. And uh today is a little bit of a different video. Today is going to be uh kind of a rant video, uh, I guess. If any of you are watching this, uh you you might be sub to Jimbo Man Eleven and he put out a video a couple of days ago. I mean he's he's not quitting, but he he put out a video saying that he was gonna quit, you know making videos and you know maybe stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh and you know I mean so this is kinda of, it's not necessarily a response video but it is a video fueled by that uh thankfully he didn't quit you know enough people talked him out of that and you know but uh you know this is just a this is kind of a video about tools in Yu-Gi-Oh you know you always you always have those people those people who are gonna just be complete butt munches and tell you you're no good, or you know, tell you that you don't know what you're doing. You know, I I mean, come on, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. Who cares? It's a game. You know, I mean, we have fun. You you lose some, you win some, you learn some. It, it's it's just fun. I mean, when I first started playing, I got my butt handed to me a lot. Like I I. If when when I first started playing, I thankfully like got like the luckiest matchups ever because I had like the crappiest deck it was like it was like some like mixture between Blackwing and Yusei Fudo Turbo and like that's not it wasn't even D-Wing it was before that so it was like a structure deck that had been like that had some Blackwing stuff in it it was very bad it was like the first structure deck 2009 I think uh but yeah so I was playing with that and I got lucky and I beat a couple of people but you know, I, you know, le later, you know, you you lose. I I won a couple of matches, and then later, you know, I got better, changed up the deck, started playing D Wing, which was you know my own unique variant. So you know, I got a lot of crap about that. It was like, holy crap, this Blackwing deck is stupid. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, the Blackwing deck beat them. So, hmm. I mean, they were just mad because they got beaten by something that was not necessarily the norm. You know, you, know, you always have those tools who are going to tell you you're not doing things right, or, you know, people who are going to tell you you don't know your rulings, blah, 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 blah. Well, if I don't know my rulings, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't know. It's, it's not that big of a deal. You don't have to get upset about it. You don't have to be mad because you lost. I mean, everybody needs to have... Everybody has this, a, a different outlook on life, and, uh, wow, I got sidetracked. Where am I going with this? Uh, see, so let's go right back to Tools and Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, kind of like what Dragon Duels Girl was talking about, you know, you ha I mean, she was talking about that girl who was trying to defend herself. She wasn't doing it very well. You know, I'm gonna be pro that girl, though, for, the se for a second, because, you know, I don't like getting picked on, and I will feed the trolls because I when when I want to say something, I'm gonna go ahead and say something, you know, because it makes me mad. And when I get mad, I'm either going to start throwing punches or throwing out words that you don't know that I do. I I mean, big words scare people. When you're smart, it, they kind of get afraid of that. I mean, it's I don't I don't know why, but people fear big words. But, uh, I mean, feeding the trolls isn't necessarily that bad, but you don't want to do it. I mean, you know, I mean, you don't want to feed the trolls regularly, but if you're looking for a good laugh, you might as well do it. I mean, it's just funny. When you defend yourself, especially, you know, I mean, like, I play Yu-Gi-Oh, and, uh, at this high school, like, I, I mean, I understand why it's not, I, Jim, Man 11, I mean, he's kind of a a closet Yu-Gi-Oh player and I'm I kind of transitioned into that at my last high school I was in the middle of freaking Missouri which means there was absolutely nothing to do so you know me and my friends we started playing Yu-Gi-Oh again I mean I I convinced you know, my friend Manny had some cards he let me borrow a deck and then I went and got my own deck which sucked more but you know so we started playing and you know we'd actually like bring our cards to school my friends actually still do that they bring their cards to school and they'll play during their, you know, hour of, you know, lunch and blah, 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 so, you know, 
uh, during classes, you know, when they're not doing anything, you know, they'll just pull them out, have a quick duel, you know, I mean, nobody really cares because it's Missouri, so they're like, oh, cool, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I remember those. I could make fun of you right now, but I think I'm going to go watch a cow, I don't know, just something, I mean, you had people playing Game Boys and, you know, all kinds of stuff, so I, I was lucky to be in there because, you know, I'm... I'm like that one kid, you know, the one kid you know, I'm nice to everybody, if you don't like me, I don't really care, you know, I I, I don't really care how you feel about me, but I'm going to be nice to everybody that I know, because some some sometimes that one mean person needs a little, like, hey, how, how you doing, hey there, hi, how are you, you know, uh, so, you know, j just think about that, and, you know, when you're, when you're, laughing at people or, you know, you're watching this video, if you think Yu-Gi-Oh is not, you know, if you think Yu-Gi-Oh is stupid, go ahead and think that, but this game takes a lot of, uh, takes a lot of brain power, it takes a lot of thinking, and it takes a lot of, uh, takes a lot, I'm gonna say, it, it takes a lot of courage to play this game in, in the open, because you can get made fun of, and especially, like, if you're, like, me or Jimbo Man 11 I mean, I'm in high school, so... So if, I, I mean, luckily I'm a junior, so if I felt like playing, I could just go there and do whatever I wanted to, because I'm only going to be there for two more years. Last year I played, because I was moving, and now I'm here in Texas, so I'm like, you know what, Shh, what do I have to lose? Come on, get get your cards, come on, let's, we're, we're just going to play right here in the middle of the class, you know, blah, 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 you know, some people are like, oh, cool, you give. So, you know, I took that chance, you know, so. I mean, Jimbo Man's in college, and he's going to have to deal with those people for, you know, a few more years, and, you know, he's an, you know, you always have, there's all kinds of different Yu-Gi-Oh players, uh, you know, you got the nerdy Yu-Gi-Oh player, you got the, uh, you know, just the, you got the, the athletes, because a lot of athletes actually do play, you know, like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, stuff like that, I actually know, like, my uncle's in the NFL, and, well, he was in the NFL. He played for the Chiefs and then, you know, all kinds of other stuff. And uh, a friend's a friend of his, James Durth, he used to play for the Jets. He was a lineman. You know, I I you know I hang out with my uncle and him and you know, so uh, you know, first time I met him, you know, he's there. His his son is there. He's like same age as my little cousin. He's like eleven. And then. Uh, his, her, her, his daughter is there, and she's a freshman, and, you know, we're talking, we're talking, blah, 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 and then he said, and then, you know, all of a sudden his, his son comes upstairs, and he's like, uh, he's playing Pokemon, uh, he's playing Pokemon Emerald, and so he goes, hey, Dad, how do you catch Rayquaza? And I'm like, what? And then James is, like, breaking it down for him, and he's telling him how to do it. I mean, don't, don't judge a book by its cover, because this, like, 300 pound, like, buff, scary looking, huge, tall, white dude with, like, arms like that big is sitting here talking to me about Hulk for an hour. I mean, it, 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 you really don't know what people do. And Yu Gi Oh! and, like, Pokemon and all the nerdy stuff, I mean, like, it's a hobby. It's something we do f for entertainment, it's not our lives. I mean, I play guitar, I play violin, I'm a musician, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! because I like Yu-Gi-Oh! The same reason why I play chess, same reason why I play RPGs, the same reason why I play MMOs and stuff like that, because I like to think. I like to, I like to go, okay, so, how do I do this? Which is, at the moment I'm playing, um, Eternal Sonata, and that's an RPG based on Chopin's dream, uh, based on, you know, a dream that Chopin had. And a lot of it is platforming. And, like, you have to go from one place to another. Then from that place to another place. Then from that place, you have to go back to the beginning. Then go back to another place. And then do, you know, such and such. It's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, you know, you have people playing certain decks that, you know, you have to know what move is good at that point. You know, I mean, it's... Yeah, you... You can't say Yu-Gi-Oh is stupid. You can't say that Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, it's stupid. It's just a game. It doesn't. I could pl pick up a game and go win nationals or blah blah blah. I can't believe this has a freaking national sport. 
or this has a national, you know, tournament. I mean, it's, it's, it's actually fun. It's something to play, and it takes a little bit of brain power. And wow, I made this video ten minutes long, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Uh, peace. I'm the Blackwing Ninja. Oh, uh, uh, side note. I started playing Maple Story again. Yay! So if you play Maple Story, go ahead and like PM me or something. I don't know. Bye.